Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So, welcome back. Today's topic is going to be on advancement, moving forward and getting better. A Muslim should always be advancing at some in some area of his life. Um, Islam should never be stagnant in a Muslim's life. Uh, too many Muslims become complacent with their level of deen, even if that's just a bunch of uh, YouTube videos and false hadith and even superstitions that they grew up believing, this is not okay at all. There's a reason why our ummah is in the state that it's in. And the ummah is made up of people. It's made up of us. We are the reason. So we need to start looking inward and putting the blame where it needs to go. Understand that Islam is not always going to be in accordance with what you want. Um, but we should advance to a point where what we want is in accordance with Islam and not the other way around. You don't want to be wearing a full beard um, and have your pants above the ankle your whole life while hating it. So we should get to a point where we're, what we want is in accordance with Islam and not the other way around. Um, we see in Surah Al-Mu'minun, chapter 23, verse 71, it says, And if the truth had been in accordance with their desires... Verily, the heavens and the earth and whosoever is therein would have been corrupted. Nay, we have brought them their reminder, but they turn away from their reminder. And again in Surah Al-Furqan, chapter 25, verse 43, it says, Have you seen him who has taken as his God his own desire? Would you then be a disposer of his affairs or watcher over him? So yeah, sometimes you might not want to keep a full beard, but Islam is not about what you want. It's about what your Lord wants. And we as Muslims should know full well being in a religion whose dominant theme is submission to God Almighty. And Him being Almighty means everyone will submit either way, one way or another. Um, it's just a matter of being willing or unwilling. And you cannot will yourself out of the fire. So we ask Allah to save us from being among those who are going to be thrown into the fire. I mean. All right, so back to the concept of moving forward and spiritual advancement. If somebody wants to do some serious research, the first two or three pages on Google are just not going to cut it. And the same thing goes for Islam. If you go to YouTube and type in like Muslim, Islam, Islamic lecture, what do you think the first things that pop up are going to be? They're going to be the Mufti Manks, the Ali Dawas, um... This is all like Kumbaya, Kufar friendly Islam. It's kindergarten Islam. Um, I don't blame anyone for starting out there. That's where I started in the beginning. But you can't stay in kindergarten forever. Um, in fact, you really shouldn't even be there that long. Little kids grow up fast and they learn from the time they wake up to the time they go to bed. Um, but don't forget about middle school, high school, college. Any adult that's in kindergarten should either be a teacher or the principal. I couldn't imagine leaving the actual students of knowledge and the scholars for these YouTube influencers and fluffy motivational speakers. Uh, that's like leaving a world-class five-star restaurant for McDonald's. These scholars, with the help of Allah, are literally upholding the whole religion, not these other people. Um, these other people are actually changing the religion and misguiding those who follow them. Their intentions may be good, but we have a saying in English that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Um, and this is reiterated in the Quran. In Surah Al-Kaf, chapter 18, verse 104, those whose efforts have been wasted in this life while they thought that they were acquiring good by their deeds... So it's very true that some people just may not know, but that's exactly why I'm making these videos. Um, I'm nobody, but I'm pointing to people that are somebody. <clears throat> I'm pointing to the Quran, the Sunnah, the Sahaba, the Salaf, the scholars, the students of knowledge. That's where you're going to find your religion. Uh, not with these influencers and speakers that are ran by and cater to emotion first and foremost. So I hope people can forgive the analogy. It's just the first thing that came to mind. 
I'm not trying to call people like kids or uneducated or whatever, but nobody enters into something they're passionate about not hoping to get better, whether it's martial arts, painting, engineering, whatever. Um, the point is that you want to advance. You want to learn more. You want to get better at it. It's the same thing with Islam. Uh, what sufficed you in the very beginning isn't going to be enough as you get older and wiser. If you want to climb Mount Everest, you can start with the little hill behind your house, but you can't stay there. Um, you can't keep climbing the same hill over and over and expect to jump from that to Mount Everest. There's going to be a lot of steps and a lot of bigger hills in between. The status of the scholars is so great in Islam that I cringe when I hear these other people called scholars when they're not. Um, imagine there's like a king of a land who's doing everything he can to take care of the people and um, make sure they're provided for. And instead of giving him credit, you're giving all your attention and praise to your peasant neighbor. The scholars exist. The students of knowledge exist. They're out there. Um, but instead we turn to YouTubers and these people that are clearly people pleasers saying what you want to hear rather than sticking to the truth firmly regardless. Again, five-star restaurant, McDonald's. Why do you think gas stations exist? So you can fill up your vehicle, carry on and go get to where you're going. Why do you think scholars in Islam exist? So you can learn your religion from them. They serve a purpose. But we are going... <laughs> it's, it's madness. Uh, it's insane to be a Muslim and not turn to those who know and are carrying the religion on their backs so that we can learn from them. The scholars literally say, you know, don't take from these people and here's why. So what do we do? Rather than listen to the scholars, we go and take from those people that they say not to. And we wonder why, again, why the Ummah is in this state. We don't have to wonder anymore. It's very clear. It's very clear. The problem is with us. So if anyone needs a list of sources, Sahaba, Salaf, scholars, students of knowledge, anything, just let me know and I'll see what I can help you with. Um, I'm not calling to myself. I'm just a signpost in the road pointing to where you should go. Um, not not the ends, just the means. Just the means to an end. Um, don't stop here. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, all right, until next time. I, I may even do a video on the status of the scholars. Um, that's how important it is. But anyways, until next time, I wish you the best. Ma'asalamah.